Hi, Mason. Thanks for joining me. Oh, stretchies. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be discussing episode four of Dead Like Me. This is the episode Repercussions. So as the title implies, this whole episode is about cause and effect. It starts with Roxy and George at Roxy's most recent reap and her guy is a no-show. It implies at the end of the episode, it doesn't outright say it, but implies that the, the no-show is something that she caused and it was something that she made happen, that she did something bad and she interfered with fate. So this gives George an idea because she realizes that if somebody misses their appointment, there's no consequences. But what we see find out is that there are consequences. George decides to do the same thing with her reap that she's given, except it cascades and causes deaths all over the city. It really tackles this idea of what you do with your afterlife has extreme consequences. We also see some cause and effect of Mason and his drug addiction, as we've been seeing these echoes throughout the last several episodes about his drug use. This time he tries to smuggle drugs and gets in a little bit of trouble. The drugs explode and he <laughs> has, um, has drugs up his butt. There's a really funny moment where he's getting interrogated by the police at the airport and when he comes out and he's sitting down that's when the drugs burst and he literally just says I think something broke and it's one of my favorite parts of the episode because it's just super ridiculous along the veins of cause and effect this episode is also focused a lot on the B cast and what Joy and Reggie's relationship is turning into Clancy is completely gone from this episode and it is really establishing now that he's not gonna be there in the future and his relationship with them not only was strained in the last couple episodes but now he's not even in the picture at all so Joy is pushing really hard and she's pushing Reggie really hard to connect with her and have this relationship and through that that pushing it's causing Reggie to retreat even farther back to the point where she starts acting out in different ways. She took a dead bird home and that was a choice that she made and the effect was that it caused Joy to kind of pull back on how she's been approaching Reggie and try to, rather than just forcing her to, you have to have a relationship with me, now it's like, where can they meet each other in the middle so that they can help each other and stop clashing so much. And then there's also some inner office cause and effects where George is performing, or Millie is performing really strongly at work. And as a result, she gets a promotion. She is outshining one of her coworkers because of the way that she's going about it. And that causes this little war between Crystal and herself. So this whole episode really just takes a moment to focus on these things that you choose to do and what their consequences are, which is why it's called Repercussions. The title is so clever because it tells you exactly what you're going to expect within the episode. And it's more lore building and it's taking, it's making a more concentrated effort to really hone in on these points. And I enjoy this episode for a lot of different reasons. And I think a lot of what I really like about it is the relationship that George and Roxy are starting to develop because in the last one, they didn't really have much of one. And now something's starting to kind of crop up and we see the softer side of Roxy. And I think it's important since she's such a hard character and she's such a hard-nosed character, this is a really nice glimmer of light and we'll start to see more of that in the coming episodes. And I think it does a really good job at setting up a different side of her that we haven't seen that she's still this this badass character but she has a soft side to her and then this episode's my favorite quote is when rube and mason are in the airport there's this baby that's crying <laughs> jacob and i actually just quoted this the other day and rube 
stands up and is like, I'm gonna kill that baby. And <laughs> anytime kids are crying, I always just turn to Jacob and I'm like, I'm gonna kill that baby. It's great quote, great dark humor, fantastic all around. Um, that's my thoughts about this episode. Let me know what your thoughts were in the comments below. See you guys next time.